Fox 601, along with the state's Office of Arts and Department of Education, have partnered on Connecticut Creative Futures, our state's full of incredible artistic talent. We know that and we celebrate it across all different disciplines. With me this morning, artist Karen Israel. Karen, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. It is always such a joy to, to celebrate artists on this couch and the diversity that we see across our region. You're out of West Hartford. You specialize in pastels. Tell us a little bit about your work as we take a look at some of it. Well, um, I, um, let's see, I try to paint um, subjects that speak to me and that move me, um, either by their light or by the action of what's happening. Lately, I've been working in, um, with figures and figures in a scenery. Um, and uh, a lot of uh, joyful scenes like dogs in the water or children um, celebrating. Um, but a lot of my art is autobiographical. So if, I, if a scene speaks to me, it might be that I'm the shy boy in the center of two exuberant children, or it wow. might be that um, I'm, you know, wanting to be in the water with the dogs, or I'm the stranger in the yellow raincoat, um, you know, just feeling... Um, looking for information, you know, that um, that painting. I was feeling, I was watching the scene. I was in New York City, and I felt like these three people were trying to figure out what to do next, and that's why I called it another possibility. And looking at your beautiful work, I'm reminded of the richness we can achieve through pastels. I know some of your yeah. work has been displayed internationally in France. Talk about that. What was that experience like for you as an artist who's uh, been at this for 20 years? Oh, thank you. Um, yes, that was really an honor, and I was uh, chosen one of, I think, 11 American women artists. They were celebrating, the French were celebrating American women pastelists, and um, it was during the pandemic. So right as the pandemic broke, my paintings, five of them, shipped off to France, and then the world closed down. So the paintings stayed there for two years. And two years later, the show hung, but I wasn't able to get there. Unfortunately, I had illness in the family and things like that, so I missed that opportunity. But my paintings had a very nice trip to France. And um, yeah, and then they came home, and it was wonderful. There was an uh, article written up uh, about me in uh, uh, Les Amis des Arts um, in uh, April of what was it, 2019? I, when was the pandemic? 2020, it, I It think. all blends together, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yes, a, it does. A beautiful achievement for you there. We saw you Thank at you. work there in some of that video. I know you teach the craft as well. I do. What is the energy that that brings to you? Kind of what's the takeaway for that? Well, I didn't start as an artist. I had a career prior, and then I studied with um, prominent people, and I studied in New York City at the Art Students League and some other wonderful places, and with local artists who were really uh, were my mentors and I've respected and I love to pay that forward and so when I um, when I get a, um, a class I I think to myself what didn't I know when I started out what information did didn't I know and I'm able to kind of understand what they don't know and I love you know giving that them that information and I love running into a student who's hanging in a gallery with me now like it's a great feeling that I've introduce someone else to this wonderful, um, you know, career and um, it's a therapeutic craft, you know, in both ways. It's very therapeutic for me to focus on a painting. Which is fascinating because you came from a career as a physical therapist, so blend, blending some of that together. You know, I always try to empower people from this couch when I can. I wonder if you'd speak to the kid at home who's watching saying, hey, you have that talent, I want to chase that dream and maybe go down a, a, a pathway or a mm -hmm. career in the arts. What would you say to, to him or her? Well, for a younger child, I'd say just create. Don't worry about the outcome because kids don't. They just, all of us can draw and paint when we're young. <laughs> and then the voice in our head says we stink, you know? And um, so I would say to uh, maybe a teenager, start taking drawing lessons. Learn the basics, like the piano. You learn the scales. Sure. It's kind of tedious, and it may be boring, but it builds a foundation. And then you have the kind of freedom to take what you've learned and you're the artist. You can wow. change it. You're the conductor of your orchestra. You I, can you can tell people where you want them to look, and not yeah. tell people, but yeah. you can direct people where where you want them to look and what you want them to feel, and hopefully, they feel what you're producing. You oh, know. I like the sounds of that. Listen, congratulations Thank on your you success. So much. Thank you for 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 granting us the time on the couch. Thank you, Sam. Sam